Let's take a look at mixed decimal equations. Each year, Emma competes in her school's high jump competition. The first year, she jumps 6.8 feet. The next year, she increases her jump height by 5.2 feet. How high did Emma jump on the second year? Well, if she started at 6.8 feet the first year and she increases it by 5.2 feet, Increases is a key word that's telling us we need to add those two numbers together. So to figure out her height on the second year, we're going to say 6.8, right, her first year height, plus 5.2, the amount she increased it by. Now notice when I'm adding these together, I'm lining up the decimal points because I need to make sure that I'm adding numbers that are in the same place value. I'm also going to line up the decimal point in my answer. Okay, so when I add the numbers in the tenths place, 8 plus 2 gives me 10, so I'm going to write the 0, carry the 1. 6 plus 5 is 11, plus that extra 1 gives me 12. So she jumped a height of 12.0, or 12 feet. A lumberjack can cut down 7.9 trees a day. If each tree can be cut into 5.4 planks of wood, how many planks of wood does the lumberjack produce each day? Okay, well if he's cutting down 7.9 trees and each one of them can be 5.4 planks of wood, we would need to multiply that together to figure out how many planks are produced. Okay, so we're going to say 7.9 times 5.4. Now when you're multiplying with decimals, you can ignore the decimal for a minute, think of this as just 79 times 54, and then we'll handle that decimal in the end in our answer. So first, take the 4 and multiply it by both numbers. Okay, so 9 times 4 gives us 36, so we're going to write 6, carry the 3. 4 times 7 gives us 28, plus the 3 makes it 31. Now when I go to multiply the 5, I have to put a 0 under the 6 to account for the 1's place. That shows that I'm multiplying by 50, not just 50. Five. Okay, so 5 times 9 is 45, so I'm going to put the 5, let's cross this out, that was from the last digit, and put the 4 there. Okay, and then 5 times 7 is 35, plus the extra 4 is 39. Okay, and just like you would with any problem where you had two digits that you multiplied, we're going to add the digits that we got in each column. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. 3 plus 9 is 12. So 2 and carry the 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4. Now notice, remember I said we were going to go back to those decimals at the end. In my original problem, I had one digit after the decimal point here and one digit after the decimal point there. So all together, two digits after the decimal point. So that means I need to make sure that my answer has two digits after the decimal point. So this would be 42.66 planks. Jaden is using a stair climbing machine to set 1.7 flights of stairs per minute. How many flights will he climb in one minute? Okay, well when you see that word per, per means for each one. So if he's climbing 1.7 stairs per minute, that means each one minute he's climbing 1.7 flights of stairs. Since they're only asking us about one minute, he must have climbed 1.7 flights of stairs.
Jaden chooses 2.5 watermelons at the grocery store. When he weighs the watermelons all at once, he discovers the total weight is 6.5 pounds. If each watermelon is the same size, how much does each watermelon weigh? Okay, well, if we know the total weight is 6.5, and we know there's 2.5 watermelons, to figure out the weight for each one, we would need to divide. Okay, so we're gonna take our total amount, 6.5, and we're gonna divide that by the weight of, or the number of watermelons, which is 2.5. When you're dividing with decimals, what you can do is move it. I don't wanna divide by 2.5, I wanna make this a 25. So I'm gonna move my decimal point one place to the right to make this a whole number, 25. Now, if I move the decimal point here, one place to the right, I have to do the exact same thing here and move my decimal point one place to the right. So I can think of this 65 as 65, or think of this as 65.0. And now, I'm gonna line up my decimal point right above where it landed, right here. So I don't forget about that in my answer. Okay, well 25 doesn't go into six. 25 does go into 65, right? 25 goes into 65 two times. Two times 25 is 50. So I'm gonna subtract that 50 and it leaves me with 15. And now I'm gonna bring down that next zero. And how many times does 25 go into 150? Well, 25 goes into 100 four times and 50 twice, so it's gonna go into 150 six times. Right, 25 times six is exactly 150, so when I subtract that, I have nothing left. So that's how I know my division problem is done, and my answer is what you see up top, 2.6. So each watermelon weighs 2.6 pounds. The school band has learned two songs for their next recital. The first song is 8.3 minutes long, and the second song is 6.8 minutes long. If the band plays both songs at the recital, how long will the band play for? Well, if they're playing both songs, we would need to add those together to figure out the total length of time that they're playing. So we're gonna say 8.3, plus 6.8 and see what we get. Now notice when I'm adding these numbers, I'm lining up the decimal points and I'm also gonna line up the decimal point in my answer. And then I need to add the digits in each place value. In the tenths place, three plus eight gives me 11. So I'm gonna write one and carry the one. Eight plus six is 14 plus the extra one makes it 15. So we get 15.1, or the band is playing for a total of 15.1 minutes.